Okay, so how to create a huge blue space cow in Blender. Now, with uh, sorry there, um, what I mean is uh, how to create water, water in Blender. So we are going to create exactly this water here, and this is super easy to do. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's just go a and x and delete and we're going to go shift a and bring in a mesh circle we're going to scale up this circle and now we want the edges to be smoothed out and the way to do that we can just go control and two and now if we jump into edit mode and hit f and go back into object mode we have our surface for our water so now what you can do is go into render mode here. So I'm using this HDRI, a high dynamic range image. And if you want to have exactly this HDRI, you can go to Polyhaven, it's a free site. We can just search for HDRIs and go here in the search function, type in water. And I'm using this bell pack here. And here you want to make sure that this resolution is set to the highest amount so 16k and also hdr here and then you can just download it so now if you jump back into blender we want this plane or circle of ours to fit the horizon line or the line between the sea and the land and um, the way we can do that is just to scale it up like that and the reason we made this uh, into a circle and not a square is because if you're going to play around with this water you won't see any edges since we made it in uh, a circle so but be aware of that if you change the angle here you can't see the original water so if you're going to do some stuff that i did in the intro and um, animate your camera on the X and the Y axis and not as much as the C because then it will show this uh, original water or at least more of it so let's just uh, start creating this really simple but uh, surprisingly cool looking and um, yeah just a really good water material and sometimes the simple it is the best thing and um, yeah so here we just need to bring the metallic up and the roughness down and we already have something that um, uh, looks like water uh, but we want some waves and so let's bring in a bump node for the waves there and we also want to have some control over the scaling of these waves so to that we're going to use a noise texture node and we're also going to animate it. So let's go control and T and that will bring in a texture coordinate and a mapping node. And if you don't have this trickety trick add on here, just go edit preferences, add ons, type in node Wrangler, check this box and also check the box for auto save. So now we can connect the factor here into the bump node and the normal into the normal. And so nothing happens here yet, but if we increase the scale, let me go a little bit up so we can see what we're doing. Increase the scale here, we can see that we get, we have something that really starts to look like a cool watery surface. So we can bring the detail a little bit down and also set the strength to maybe to 0 0.12 like that. And the main thing to be playing around here is the strength, of this bump node, and also the scale of the noise texture. So if you want to create the impression of being high up in the air, you can just increase the scale like this. If you want to create the impression of being close to the water, you can just set the scale to a lower amount and you will see less waves. So, um, yeah, 
So let's just go and animate uh, this bad boy here. And we're gonna use this mapping node and we're gonna animate it with inserting a drive driver. So let's just go at the C here and go hash frame divided by 4,000. And if you set this to a higher number, the animation will move slower, set it to a lower num number and the animation will run faster. So if I hit, hit enter here and play this animation, we have some nice watery movement and we can maybe increase the scale a little bit, bring down strength, bring it up. And all of these um, parameters here, I just recommend you just play around with it. So nothing in Blender. Um, so you can, that's the beauty of Blender. You can just see what all of these uh, stuff are doing immediately. So just play around with all of this. But the main thing, as I said, the scale and the strength of the bump node here. And also we want to animate um, the water in, uh, in a direction as well. So create uh, uh, this uh, illusion of uh, water that moves in a certain direction. And to do that, we can just animate this uh, location also. So let's just go hash and then frame and then divide it by 4,000 and hit enter. So now this, um, these waves here are moving in this uh, direction, at least, um, yeah. So it looks pretty cool. And I'm just gonna show you a real, and uh, a little finger at the end. So you see this sun here coming over the hillside um, you can remove that with the bloom, but you can also go into the bloom and set the threshold all the way down and create this fog effect here if you want that. Okay, so I think this is it. Uh, if you learned something, please subscribe and have a great day wherever you are. And peace out.